Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the evening that I had watching Suffocation live in Toronto at the Velvet Underground. I'm going to tell you all about what went on, all the hostilities that took place inside of the venue, starting off at 6 o'clock. The doors open at 6, really early, but even earlier for the opening band that came on at 6.20, Intro Till, an all-female death metal band from Mexico. Now, I was a little concerned for this band because it's tough to be the opener. It's even tougher when you go on at 6.20. People are just barely walking in and you're already on stage playing now the moment they start playing more and more people kept coming to the front because that was the quality of their sound incredible band if you like sepultura old school early on sepultura like schizophrenia and earlier this band is definitely for you they have all those attributes mixing some thrash metal with death metal creating this this hybrid sound that had a lot of aggression great front woman incredible drummer incredible bass player, great guitar player. They didn't have a great stage presence. They were not very dynamic. They were very stoic in their performance. But the sound, the songs, the vocals, totally made up for it. Incredible discovery for me. I had never heard of this band before. I went in with my eyes uh, wide shut and I came out of it with my eyes wide open. Definitely a band that I'm gonna keep my eyes and ears out for going forward because I really enjoy their performance. I really enjoy their set. Next came Contrarium, a technical death metal band from New York and perhaps the weakest spot in the evening. I'm a huge fan of their drummer. Once once he went on stage to do the, the sound check for the drums, I'm like, this gotta be a technical death metal band because this guy is outstanding. I had never heard of them, so I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into. But yeah, they are a te technical death metal band and they do have a phenomenal drummer. The problem is everything else around him is not as strong as he is. The sound, once again, I'm not quite sure if it's the sound because of the way it was mixed on the evening or this, or if this is actually their sound to begin with, but the sound felt very dirty, very murky, very discombobulated. There was no sense of texture. There was no sense of layers. Everything felt like it was thrown at the wall and let's see what sticks. And this makes for a dirty sound, a dirty experience. When you're looking at a technical death metal band, you're not just looking at quality of the individuals that make up that band. You're looking at the quality of the overall sound. You have to bring all of those moving pieces together, make sure that they, they coexist with one another in the smoothest way possible. And that was not the case. Everything was fighting with everything else. It, it was not a good sound. It was not a good performance. It was a band that left you a little bit disappointed, specifically considering how good Intro Till was as the first opening band of the evening. After them came Surruption. They are a technical death metal band from Sweden. And then you see the quality of sound, the quality of execution coming up a notch. Another band with an incredible drummer. This guy absolutely killed it, destroyed it. Great drum sound, great performance from, from his part. But the overall band uh, had a really clear cut understanding of what their sound is and how to deliver that sound to the fans, to the audience that was there this evening. I really enjoyed their set, I really enjoy their sound, I really enjoy their music. They showcased that they created songs that have shapes, that have start, middle and end, and they know how to navigate through those different portions of the tracks, bringing it all together, allowing the individuals to have their, their own technical performance come to the forefront, but not allowing that to overshadow uh, what the tracks are all about. It's all about making the songs uh, be as good as possible, adding value to the tracks, and all of them added value to the construction of the songs, to the execution of the songs. The sound sounded phenomenal across every single track. They felt to me like they were getting better and better with every single song. The audience was also getting more and more into it with every single song. They have a, a larger than life front man that really commands your attention. Your eyes are always gonna be focused on him because he takes a huge portion of the stage and he has a great, great deep voice that I really liked. I thought it added a lot of, uh, a lot of heart, a lot of soul to the overall sound of the band. Next comes, comes Atheist. Not my first time seeing Atheist, but this is my favorite time, uh, my favorite performance, live performance from Atheist. In the past when I saw them, I always felt like there was something missing. They felt a little bit disconnected. It felt like they were not really sure where they were and where they were going. This evening, it was completely different. They had a much better stage presence. They were alive, their music was alive, and the audience came to life listening to them. The front man is always what it is. He knows what he's doing. He has an incredible amount of experience and time 
with a band performing live so he's always very dependable is the ones that he brings that he surrounds himself with that could really tip the scales one way or another the the band on this evening on this tour is super tight they have the right pieces in the right place to really create a fun performance to really put the music the sound of atheist in the forefront and allow fans to gravitate towards it enjoy it feel like they're being taken through a history lesson of what that band is all about that's pretty much what the set list is so this performance was more impressive from my perspective than the previous time that i saw them i really enjoyed it i thought they were phenomenal they were they, they lit the fuse as far as the crowd is concerned you could see the fuse being lit by the atheist the crowd surface had started the mosh pit had started everything really started to erupt once they hit the stage and throughout their performance so they were prying uh, priming everybody to what was coming next and what was coming next was suffocation now my first time seeing suffocation live and i have to say their sound was the best of every single band because they they didn't just have heaviness they didn't just have power they didn't have just a sound that moved forward from the stage all the way to the back of the venue they also had a sound that moved laterally so as much as the sound is moving forward, it's also filling all the gaps laterally. The drums, they have an incredible drum. Every band on this bill has an incredible drummer, but Suffocation's drummer really understood what is needed from him. And he created this incredible backdrop, this incredible foundation of heaviness with his drums that allows them to be steady there and, and, and they keep everything else grounded on top of it. So then the guitars and bass come on top of it and then on top of that came the vocals. The mixing at the table was outstanding. Perfect for the venue that they're in, perfect for their sound, perfect for who they are. So once again, having the right people that understand what the band is all about and how can you get the most out of them during a live performance is what I saw tonight from the person behind the mixing table. Now, I love the drums, I love their sound. Obviously the guitars, that's to be expected when it comes to suffocation, same thing for the bass. But the thing that impressed me the most was the heaviness, that drum sound, that earthiness that the drums had. And then the second thing that impressed me the most is their new lead singer. Up front, great tone, larger than life presence. This man is a mammoth. So he has a big body, big presence, big voice, great tonality, heavy. The, but heavy, but not just heavy. It's heavy, but with warmth in it. It's thick. It has substance. It has texture. Adding texture and substance to the overall sound of the band, making it feel absolutely demolishing. The crowd went crazy, absolutely crazy. The crowd surfers kept coming and coming and coming. The crowd erupted with suffocation, and a lot of it has to do with that larger than life sound. It was really phenomenal. I listened to the band a bunch of songs up front to see what it was going to be about and I felt the power of the crowd and the power of the band and then I moved to the back of the venue closer to the uh, to the merch stand to see what was the sound there. H how did the sound travel? Because sometimes it's really powerful at the front because that's where the speakers are, that's where the PA system is. So sometimes it's really powerful there but then it loses a little bit of steam. It almost funnels in and it becomes really narrow and thin as you move towards the back. It was not the case. The sound was as wide, as thick as the front, as it was all the way at the back of the venue. So kudos to the band, kudos to the sound guy to really be able to create that kind of experience, an experience that really fills the room across all the different elements, across all the different band members. Bringing them together, creating a, a very nice, consistent sound and sound experience that makes the evening memorable. You leave that venue, you leave that concert feeling like you've gotten everything that you wanted to get out of the band, out of their music, out of the evening. Absolutely phenomenal. Great way to cap the night. Suffocation was definitely the highlight as I was expecting them to be. But with some great surprises along the way. Atheist was also outstanding. Intro Till, what a great discovery for myself. And also Surruption, a band from Sweden. They were also phenomenal uh, as well. So it, it was a very stacked night. It was a very stacked bill with great bands performing really well so when you're performing and you're not at that same level when you have that this much quality around you it shows so for uh contrarium it, it it was perhaps a little bit of they got the short end of the stick if you will but it is what it is uh, i'm just telling you what i heard and what i heard wasn't the best out of that band when you consider everything else that came around it 
this is it guys fun night fun evening of death metal uh let me know your your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you're going to go see this band this package uh, i'm going to put the the rest of the tour dates or i'm actually going to put all the tour dates from this tour on the description of the video so let me know if you're planning on seeing them have you seen them before uh what venue what city did you see this tour package hit me up uh hit those comment sections let me know your thoughts and i'll see you guys at the next video